Soviet partisans hinder supplies. Well, they can hinder my supplies. Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with some strategic command. It is January 14th, 1944. The Abyssinia Corps, reformed and rearmed, is headed back in to Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa will fall this episode with the Abyssinia Corps being the ones that claim it. So, what else do we have going on? Well, we had fought our way through Iraq, Iran. We're trying to link up with our German bros on the Eastern Front. And I was not going to send troops into India, but it looks like a lot of British troops are here. So I think India might be open. So uh, we're going to take a couple units and push it and see what happens. Speaking of the Eastern Front, that's what it's looking like. The Finns have done nothing. We are still fighting off a D-Day. We have contained it. We are just needing to annihilate what is left. And our Japanese bros. They look to have done pretty well. But with that, bros, let's go. Axis liberate Iraq. Noise. Axis liberate Persia. Notice that liberate. Sudan surrenders. Damn, big peepee -pee beginning for the Axis. Ooh, and Italy got credit for that too. A little bit more coin per uh, turn now. A brigade of Danish volunteers crosses over from Sweden to liberate Copenhagen. Uh, okay. Norwegian partisans disrupt vital resources. All right, it is February 11th, 1944. Uh, Richie is going to get robbed here. Boom! Richie just got robbed on. Although we can't take it. All right, Abyssinia Corps. Let's get everybody moved up. Preparing for the attack. To reclaim Addis Ababa. What, what has it been? Like three years ago that happened? Uh, let's go this way. We'll move up on that while we wait for the uh, uh, Abyssinia Corps to come in. Do some recon. Get set up for the attack. Launch it. Reclaim it. Now. Uh, let's go ahead. Get you going towards India. You'll probably need. Let's send a crapper. The crappiest. Oh, they're both fives. And we'll give you a little bit of backup. And that's it. Everybody else. You are to join the Germans on the Eastern Front. All right. So we've got a little bit of. A little bit of defense set up down here. Although they missed setting it up there, didn't they? Remember, this is this is the Africa Corps. Plus the uh, the couple tanks the Italians borrowed. Supposed to be for like six months. Now, I was still in control of D-Day and the uh, naval defense here. And I just seen there are more attempts at bringing in some reinforcements to the D-Day bros. We might be able to take this guy out. We, the, we got a lot of backup here, including an army. Yeah, he's gone. Get shot on. The D-Day beachhead is not as beachy as it once was. Less beachy. Oh. We got it. I did not expect to grab that. We have recaptured Khan. Next up, Sharborg. 
We got a little bit of money. I'm debating whether we put down an army or we do command and control, making our generals a little bit better. I'm thinking our generals completely suck, so let's try to make them a little bit better. All right, that's a wrap. February 11th, 1944. China moves government to Lanchow. Soviet partisans hinder supplies. Well, they can hinder my supplies. Germany lost a couple cores. A lot of bombing going on, too. Italy held strong, though. Italy lost nothing. They don't even attack Italy anymore. They're too scared. All right. Back in Abyssinia. Let's uh, do some recon here. A core and they got a general. A South African general. All right, well, we'll bring in the uh, capture this first. Get these guys headed back down. Get the uh, Abyssinia core headed in. Like, it looks okay for them now, you know, like, they can de they can defend that, but that's not going to last. I should have brought a couple German bros, but I said, you know what, let's get it done with the Italians, and I guess that's what I'm doing. I did want to leave the Spanish bro right here, just in case they try to land sometime. I don't know how far uh, we'll be able to make it into India before they before we run into some pretty good defenses. All right, all they, they got down here. All they got garrisons. I shit all over garrisons for a living. It's insulting that you would try to defend the South with garrison units. I'm insulted. It'll be, I'm sure uh, Germany's looking forward to getting these Panzers back. Should I send an army down there with these guys? Um, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll heal them up. We'll send them to go to India. But look what happened here. Germany, low on oil, has just opened up the oil fields on the outskirts of Baku. Okay, so this guy had some attrition losses. Which means we're probably, yeah, we're, we're going to be able to shit all over this guy. He's done. Ever shrinking D-Day, right? There we go. When you want something done, you bring in the German armies. They they hit they hit different. They hit just a little bit different. Well, um let's let me take control of these guys. We need to at least we won't be able to defeat them with the engineers, but we'll at least be able to hold them in Copenhagen until we defeat D-Day. We got a little money left, so I'm saying we're going to buy another army. The Italian uh, armed forces is becoming a massive, rivaled only to Germany in the entire world. April 7th. The Germans lost a uh, light panzer and a paratroop division. Oh, look at this. The 11th Italian army. Uh, oh shit. We need to take that back. We'll throw him right there. And again, that round, the Italians lost nothing. Ooh, the generals on the run. go grab that so now they are cut off T 
the Abyssinia core. It's gonna. It's probably gonna. It's probably gonna be stupid here on Addis Ababa. Like it's gonna take us a while to even open it up. Probably just something ridiculous. I'm just gonna leave this bro here. And they're on the southern side. We still got a couple uh, bros we can move up. As soon as that dot gets repaired, we can uh, get him in here. We'll do, we'll do him by C. All right, what do we got here, guys? We need to start moving up. And I wanted to heal you before I got you sent too far into there. Look at this. They this is completely cut off now. Wow. They're done. Stick a fork in them. They are done. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize it. After five years. Well, not five. After what year is it? Three years, pretty much. The fronts have finally combined. Amazing work, bros. Amazing frickin' work. Look at that. The oil fields of the Caucasus are now under German and Italian control. Because Italy needed a little bit of oil, too, for that one tank they have. Okay, the partisans in Copenhagen are being attacked by the Pioneer Division. We'll just keep roughing them up with the Pioneer Division. Can this just be over, guys? Come on. I mean... It should be, uh, it should be done. Nice. Forced back into the sea. I forgot the double attack on this uh, Panzer. Boom, Baku has fallen. Well, bros, that's going to be a wrap on April 7th, 1944. I can't believe we have finally linked up the fronts. Soviet national morale falls with the loss of Baku. Mussolini faces humiliation as allied forces enter Albania. Uh, we actually took care of that. Yeah, Al Albania is resurrendering. We got it. We're done. Uh, we lost nothing again. The Germans didn't lose anything. This time, the Japanese lost the second core. All right, back to Abyssinia. Um, well, they sh Addis Ababa should be completely cut off. There we go. A little bit of damage. The Abyssinia core. Let's send them in from this other side. You guys can hold them there. We got the army coming up. And uh, we're still waiting on that. We'll also bring this general up. Graziani. This is your show, bro. Look! He's running. For his very life. Ha! Ah. Oh, whatever. I'm claiming bullshit on that. There's... You got all these forces over here. You don't have anybody guarding that. All right, well, let's back up. We'll get our troops moved up to this point, and then, uh, how's my supplies? Actually, best around this general, so let's just go ahead and move this army up. And you're just still holding there just in case there's a landing. I'm gonna say we take this core and we start heading through the stands region. See what's going on through the stands. All right, well, this is cleared. Let the Italians take that. Now he's just not getting the recognition for all the work they've put in. They, de they deserve a little bit more recognition than what they're getting.
That is a face palm. Well, what is this guy doing? What the hell is this guy doing? Well, I guess uh, we we're going to move these bros into Albania, but that's cleared. So let's go ahead and move them up. There's an Italian general in here somewhere. Right up here. I guess they're going to help out with either Moscow or Leningrad. Let's look at this front real quick. The Germans have done pretty much nothing towards Leningrad. Maybe a little bit in here. They're closing in on Moscow and uh, they've definitely advanced here and down here. Back to what is left of this attempted D-Day. I mean, each... Oh, damn it, that I already... I'd, I'd already attacked with that. Not that we were going to be able to finish him off anyways, but still. And of course, a round is not complete until we attack the Danish partisans with these engineers. Bruh. All right, Italy has a little bit of spend in cash. So uh, I'm thinking we go another army. Rivaling Germany now at this point. Chinese morale suffers from the loss of Lan Chao. China moves government to Yiramuchi. Italians took a little bit of bombing. Japan lost a light tank. Germany lost a core and Japan lost an army. All right, the Abyssinia Corps. Why are you moving so slowly? Drawing this out, you know, that's what they're doing. They're drawing it out. What do you think Nairobi is open? I'm going to say there's probably a core on it. Nope, a garrison. Oh, yeah. Fifth Italian army. Putting the hurt on the core in Addis Ababa. Come on. Come on. The Italian tank can't suck that bad. Look at this. They're moving up on us. There was nobody there. This game is a cheater. Simple as that. It's cheating. There was nobody there. I just, I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. And uh, there goes Grozny. You think this bro needs healed before he takes on whoever this is? I would say no. It is... Perkev? I don't know. Never heard of him. Let's uh, move one on Baku to heal up and we'll move the other one over uh, on Tbilisi. All right, well, now we just need to finish off what troops are remaining here on the beaches. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. And as always, no attack is fully completed until the pioneers attack the Copenhagen partisans. A little bit better hit you had there. All right, that's going to be a wrap on June 2nd, 1944. It's close. The day of reckoning is close. Dang, the Japanese lost a battleship and a carrier. Germans lost the fourth panzer tank. Oh, it is lost a cruiser. Italian 12th Army ready for deployment. Well, bros, we need to wrap this episode up, but I said we would capture Addis Ababa. So that is what we're going to try to do. Um, we're going to need some really good hits if this is going to happen. Mmm. Ooh, this might be close. Oh my god. 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 Abyssinia Core. 
Oh, back on, Addis Ababa bros, we did it. What a journey the Abyssinia Corps has made. What a beautiful, lengthy journey. It will be written about in the annals of history. Bros, if you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace, Bruminati!